It is Friday and I'm in the middle of gig prep for tomorrow's event. Now when I say I'm in the middle of it, that means that I just plugged the lights in. They are now charging. When I unplug the lights, I'm going to be done. So technically I'm in the middle of things. There's not a lot to do. The couple getting married are in their 70s. They're having 65 guests. They have zero song requests, including the first dance. All I know is that they like the blues, ZZ Top, oldies, like Motown and such. And they do like Whitney Houston as well. Also, the hall has a 96 decibel SPL max. So you can't go above 96 dB in this hall. How loud is 96 dB? Not very loud. You know, I downloaded this SPL app on my phone, but I don't know how accurate it is. Here, I'm going to go ahead and start it. And we'll talk. And I, I'm not convinced that it's registering correct. And it might be my phone. It might be the app. I don't know what it is. I was cranking tunes last night pretty loud down here and I couldn't get it to go above I think 87 decibels and that didn't make any sense to me because 96 decibels should be like conversation in a room with you know 65 people in it it's probably about dinner music listening levels I would think now the reason it's 96 decibels I did some research is that the hall I'm playing at has one hall that they can divide into two and they use a divider wall and they advertise a soundproof divider wall. Well, of course it's soundproof if you're at 96 decibels. But what this website did have is a calendar where it showed what halls were booked. And according to the calendar, the other half of the hall is not booked as of, I think, yesterday. So unless somebody books today and has an event there tomorrow, it might just be us there. So maybe we can relax a little bit on that 96 decibel max cap that they're imposing on us. I don't know. Either way, I don't think it matters much. They said for the first dance, whatever I play, he's got a bad back, so, you know, maybe 30 seconds and then let everybody else join in is the way to go so he can sit down. He's going to be playing background music for a while, but they're nice people. But there's not a lot of the typical gig prep. There's no special equipment that I have to bring for this. There is no music that I have to download, especially the Currents. I don't even have to update my promo only on my Top Hits USA this week because Currents are not even a factor at this event. So yeah, this is gig prep right here. I do have to go out to the shop and get Dad's truck tonight. I was planning on doing that anyway because the gear is actually still in the truck. It's locked in the shop. Because the Suburb is not done yet. Transmission came out of it, I think, last week. But I haven't heard an update on whether or not it got back in it. It doesn't matter. Whenever I get the truck back, i got to get tires on it anyway. And typically, i got to order the tires that I want. That usually takes a few days. Plus, i got to make an appointment for install at Sam's Club. Welcome to 2021. But anyway, that's what I'm up against tomorrow. That's what I'm doing. We'll do a gig log. I don't know how exciting it'll be. Could be interesting, though. Maybe it'll surprise us. Just got to make sure that I've got some good blues in there. Because I told him that, yeah, although maybe blues isn't the thing for dancing, it might be perfect for dinner. We can do some Stevie Ray Vaughan and stuff. I don't want to do the download pressing blues, but there's some up-tempo blues we can play. Should be fun. Or could be fun. We'll see. That's it, guys. We'll see you tomorrow. Wish me luck. Practice and enjoy.